Hey everyone, Cody here. And today we're gonna to be doing a fractal painting. Uh, if you haven't seen any of those, basically what I do is I put gloss enamel on the surface. So this, in, you know, paper today, uh, and then we just kind of move it around with an object. Today we're gonna to be using plastic. Uh, but before I stir my paints and get started, I wanted to show you guys what uh, gloss enamel looks like before it's been stirred. So if you look, it's got these really cool um, colorations. So it's, uh, you can see like the separation of like the pigment with the, the actual filler and stuff like that. So I, I just thought that was cool. Just wanted to show you guys that uh, little, I don't know, little pocket of color before we got started. So today's, uh, basically today's painting, the colors are kind of inspired by camouflage. Now I'm not a big camouflage fan. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to do a fractal painting with camouflage colors. So we got black and then light brown, dark brown, light green and dark green. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir these bad boys and then we will get started with the paint. Okay, so now that I've got my, that was a really loud bird. Now that I've got my paints stirred, we can go ahead and get started. So this plastic is what I'll be using today. Just some uh, plastic that came on one of the canvases. You could also use uh, grocery bags. So, you know, you can kind of get a second use out of them. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and what we do is we put these little pockets of paint. So we're gonna do one there and probably one right there. Just kind of spread out the color. I'm gonna set that aside and then I'll do one with brown. So let's do dark brown right there and then maybe some right there. And then we'll move that aside and then we'll do uh, some light brown. Sorry, I said dark brown and not light brown. So dark brown there and maybe some more, just a little bit more right there. So we'll set that aside and we'll do our light green and we'll do some more light green right there. And then lastly, uh, some dark green. So we'll do dark green right there, maybe a little bit up here, and then some on this side, a couple dots down here, because the green is kind of the uh, the prevalent color that I really want to uh, convey. Okay, so now we uh, take our plastic here, and we kind of curl it up a little bit so that we've got these little ripples, and kind of fold it over. And now that we've got it, now we can kind of go to work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these colors and push them out. And we're kind of stepping on other colors as we go, but we're not trying to blend the colors necessarily, just trying to um, pick some of it up as we go, if that makes sense. So we're picking up some of this color and then moving it up somewhere else. So you, you kind of want to take the color and then put it into an area that doesn't have a lot of color. That way you can kind of get this color dispersion. And so we're just picking up some of this color and then moving it somewhere else. And then picking up some of the color and moving it somewhere else. Pick up the brown, we'll move it over there. We'll pick up the green, move it over here. Uh, pick up some of this green, move it over here. The brown, this brown right here, the black. And it's kind of coming unfolded, so let's uh, kind of move it around a little bit. And we'll take some of the yellow or the this green right here, we'll move it over here, and we just kind of repeat this process over and over again, uh, picking up a big chunk of the color from one area and kind of moving it to an area with very little color. And then as we go, we just kind of fill in these little gaps that we have accrued and the colors just kind of start to blend together and if we if we're getting too much of one color it's probably because it it just keeps uh, picking up that one color so we'll just kind of rotate the plastic and then just continue the process so now at this point, we're just looking for gaps in the painting where we can kind of put some, some paint there.
and we're just kind of trying to um, balance out the painting at this point. So we're just looking for areas of color that we can kind of move into some of the other ones. So for example, we're losing some of this light green. I actually kind of want to highlight some of that. So let's see if we can get a little bit more um, put down. We'll kind of turn this plastic inside out on itself. <clears throat> and we'll see if we can kind of move it out into some of these other areas. pretty much it now there's gonna be a few gaps what I'll usually do is just kind of go back and look over the painting and, and fill in any of the gaps with uh, just the tip of my finger using some of the paint so there's like a little bit of gaps there and there and there and if I painted the background before I did these paintings that probably wouldn't be an issue but I always forget and then I get excited to paint and then I just you know, neglect it. So, you know, that's just, that's on me for being a little impatient. It's kind of my uh, little character fly, I suppose. And I think that's good. So now the whole thing is covered and it actually doesn't look too bad. Um, it, it looks better than I thought it would, um, considering the colors. In fact, this is, so this is what it looks like when the colors kind of become muddy and you go over them too many times. That's a, that's an issue sometimes. And, you know, just try to avoid that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pull the tape off. I've got two layers here because I needed two to kind of keep it in place. No, it ripped. Darn. Well, that's uh, that's not ideal. Well. I guess this is a cautionary tale. If you uh, aren't careful, you can rip your painting in half. I just wanted to see the final product. Well, I won't be selling it, so I suppose at this point it doesn't really matter if it, if it rips a little along the edge. Uh, how unfortunate. I was actually really impressed with the colors. Um, it came out better than I expected those colors to, to turn out. So that is definitely a little unfortunate. Okay, so I got all the tape off. Um, again, unfortunate about the uh, the rip there. It's a little, it's a little disappointing because again, I was kind of happy with this painting. Uh, but this is the final piece, and you know, to be honest, I really. Um, liked it a lot more than I thought I would so it's a, it's a little unfortunate that it ripped but just kind of give you guys a little bit of the close-up of some of these little swirls here I you know it had some really good fractals going on and yeah just a little bit uh, well, again a little disappointing that I ripped it but if you uh, you know sometimes if you don't pay attention stuff like that happens and honestly if I used a kind of painter's tape that wasn't as sticky as that um, maybe that wouldn't have happened, but again, kind of a cautionary tale. So anyways, that's it for the painting guys. Um, overall actually happier with it than I thought it was going to be. So again, kind of unfortunate. So anyways, that's it for the video. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you didn't, that's cool. Let me know, but I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless and see you then. Bye guys.